Sorry for disappearing guys, but the latest CapCut update completely flipped over the flip animation, which would have been the entire topic of my next video, and what I showed so far became useless. If you also use CapCut and are getting tired of the constant errors of the new updates, then by all means watch this video, write in the comments what doesn't work for you, and press a like, so that the video can reach as many people as possible. And if we are lucky, someone who works at CapCut will see it and takes action to fix them. But here is my story. I was very upset that my 50 hours of work were cut off by the update, but I just couldn't let it go, but finally I have a solution, so I can continue making videos at full speed again. If you also use the flip or any other animation that was ruined by the update, but you don't want to give it up, then watch this video, because this might be the solution for you too. This is one of the parts from my next video covering Iman Gadzi's effects, which I wanted to animate with flip animations. Before the update, the clip looked like this with the Flip 4 animation. And here is the same clip after the update. It cuts off the bottom and the top and even distorts it. Here are some parts of the process, which I will go into more detail in the next video. There is a white rectangle with rounded edges, a white circle behind the logo, the logo that I animated with rotation, a gray strip behind the text, and finally two simple text layers. This compound clip with a red background was the original one I made before the update. If I undo the compound clip, you can see the previously presented elements and 14 other red background elements of the same length, which were needed to position the clip in the correct place in the flip animation and also to slow it down. If I combine them again into a compound clip, you can see the animation and a simple red background before and after it, and if I now put the flip 4 animation back on it, I get this result. If we look the layer above it, this is the version I exported to MP4 before the update, which was one on one this exact part that I just showed you, from which I have already removed the red background using the chroma key. Here is the same video with Flip 4 animation before and after the update. My first attempt was to try to restore an old version of CapCut, so I typed CapCut old version PC into Google, and clicking on the up to down site on the results page, I chose what I wanted. The last version it says 2.5.4, but if you look closely, it's only 2.2 megabytes. In other words, this is a simple online installer, which means that it downloaded the latest version from the CapCut site. I tried it and it really downloaded the latest version so this isn't it. If I go back, the second thing I can choose is version 2.5.3.801, the size of which is already more than 620 megabytes, so after installing this I really got the old version back. But this did not solve the flip animation either, and I could not even open some of my newer projects because it said that they were made with a newer version. So it's as if CapCut doesn't store individual animations locally, but always downloads them from the internet. In other words, it is not a program version error, but an animation error. At this point, I started to give up on the flip animation, but as before with the paper animation, I couldn't leave it at that, and the solution came again while taking a shower. Since I don't know if the flip animation will stay like this or not, I'll show you how it worked in the old version, and how it works now. I will place a background on the main layer and then use this user image for the demonstration. In the old version, the flip animation cut off the edges of the screen and only animated the square in the middle. However, if I now add the flip 4 animation, I get this distorted animation, with the top and bottom cut off and the width compressed. I undo the Flip 4 animation and then distort the image by setting its height to 60% but leaving its width at 100%. If I place the Flip 4 animation on it like this, the top and bottom are cut off, but the width is fine. I undo it again, adjust the width of the image so that it covers the entire width, so the animation is distorted, but it still cuts off the bottom and the sides. But if I now merge the image with the background into a compound clip, and drag the Flip 4 animation onto this compound clip, we get what we had before the update. The problem with this method is that I have to distort every single layer, including texts and videos, and if for some reason we want to use a compound clip, it must first be exported to MP4, then imported and used in order for it to work. But there is another way. I quickly undo the compound clip and the distortions, and then comes the shower trick, because it seems like that the animation takes the screen ratio into account. I change the video resolution ratio from 16 to 9 to 916, i.e. from landscape to portrait. I rotate and enlarge the background, I enlarge the image a little so that it reaches the edge of the screen. If I apply the flip 4 animation to it like this, it cuts the image at the bottom and top, but it no longer distorts it. 
So if I now combine the layers and make a compound clip out of it and use the Flip4 animation like this, I will get the desired result. Unfortunately, exporting is now unavoidable because if I add the red backgrounds to the clip, make a compound clip out of it, apply the Flip4 animation and cut the red background at the beginning and end of the compound clip without exporting. Then CapCut will apply the entire animation, i.e. the full rotation will be visible again. However, if I export it to MP4 and cut it this way, then we can cut the unnecessary parts. Anyway, I was also thinking about how I could communicate with you more effectively, so I'm thinking of creating an email list. Subscribe if you enjoy what I do, if you have fun, if you like to think with me, rejoice together and celebrate breakthroughs, or if my video just relaxes you, then you know what to do. You can find the link in the description. Also, if you liked it, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to shower for good ideas. See you in the next one.